with time travel and all, it was pretty quick. Because, you know, all we had to worry about was those paradoxes. It was pretty immediate, the way the press responded to it. I mean, we were on the cover of, like, every local arts and culture magazine. Just remember the intricacy of it and the details of it where you could have just spent hours in there looking at all the pieces of it. I was one of those people that was just totally like, which bunk am I going to take a nap in this afternoon? I like to completely fell in love with it and went back as many times as I could. I mean, I would have lived in that intergalactic pirate ship if they had wanted to hire me as a caretaker. It's a unique experience. The art world needs that. They need to get shaken up a little bit. People loved it. It ran for three months and we saw 25,000 people through the door. We asked for like a $10 donation. The year before, we'd be like, cool, there's like 20 bucks in the donation box tonight. Like, let's buy some beer. We made like $125,000 off that show. And I was literally like taking cash and putting it in shoe boxes because I didn't know what to do with it. So literally like under my bed was like $125,000 stashed in shoe boxes. <laughs>